track bikes, uh, one for commuting and rain weather and the other for uh, sunny weather and track riding. And what is a track bike? Track bike is a, uh, it's a road bike uh, sized, sized bicycle that has uh, one speed and uh, Commonly, no brakes. And why do people ride them on the street? Uh, people ride them on the street for many different reasons. Some uh, some people like to use them to cross train uh, for different sports. Uh, you know, your legs are always moving, so that that extra bit of fitness uh, plays into a lot of people's reason for riding them. I've had a few run-ins uh, near you know near experiences with cars. Uh, thankfully, nothing nothing too too serious. In terms of my cycling background, um, I was a competitive racer and also a commuter, and I still am. I coached. I coached the Saturn cycling team and I was a director. I went to the Olympics twice in the road race and I was on the 92 Olympic team with Lance Armstrong. Um, and I've written a book, the first book in over 100 years on bicycling and the law. And I actually discuss fixed gear bikes in there just a little bit and I talk about Mark Ginsburg and the Portland issue. Have any changes been made to the legislation to clarify what kind of brake is required in Oregon? Well, the, there's a bit of history around this. In 2007, there was a bill that passed both the Senate and the House, which would have allowed for an exception for fixed gear riding. It gave the general protocols, which is the performance required, which is to be able to stop within 15 feet, at, traveling at a speed of 10 miles an hour, on a clear, dry, flat pavement. And then the last sentence said something to the effect, this doesn't apply to fixed gear by cyclists. Um, this was passed, this bill. And then in the near the end, there was a procedural movement made by Ginny Burdick, which is, who is a state senator and a cycling advocate. And she struck that language out after having a conversation with her daughter, who's a bike shop employee, um, who felt that it was unsafe. And this kind of, was a disappointment for all those that have been lobbying for a long time. This was the whole purpose of getting this bill into a state law. I think it's a great idea that we have some clarification in the law. My personal feeling is that if you have the ability to slow and break your bike by whatever means that should be sufficient, um, the court system will look for general guidance. They want definitive answers and as it stands right now the law is not clear. So why do you choose a fixed gear over a single speed that can coast? Well, I guess for one, since we're in Eugene, it's a lot easier. There aren't any hills, you know, you don't, have to, uh, you don't have to really worry about going too fast, getting out of control. Another thing, when you're riding on a fixed gear, it kind of feels like you're running on wheels. It's not riding a bike, you can't really stop, it just kind of feels like you're going with it. Have you ever had any near misses or accidents? Uh, I've had a lot of near misses. I've, had, I've only had one actual collision, thankfully. What happened? Um, I live on a hill. I had just... Um, biked out to uh, get to class and a woman driving a truck pulled in front of me and I uh, tried to get out of her way but she's blocking the intersection so I crashed into her. And do you think it would have been any different had you had a break? No, not in this situation at all. It was, it was, it wasn't a matter of me stopping, it was a matter of me being able to get out of her way but she's blocking the entire street. And did she uh, try to use the fact that you didn't have a break against you? Yes, initially she had said uh, she had accepted all liability for it, and then when I talked to her once I got out of the hospital, she had uh, brought up that I didn't have a break and tried to say that I was at fault. But uh, she later retracted that and was the play. What does it feel like to ride without a break? Uh, I guess, I don't know. You, I feel, personally for me, I just feel a little more in control. Uh, feel a little bit freer without having the brake, that kind of sounds odd. I guess some people feel safer with the brake. Uh, I don't know, the brakeless, it just, it's a different sense of freedom, I guess. It's kind of nice.